and welcome to Peter's online tutor. Today we shall be looking at mathematics. Now we have a question on the board. It reads: Solve for x. 2 raised to the power of x minus 1 plus 2 raised to the power of x equals 48. We are asked to solve for x. Now, how do we solve this question? Let us go. Now, if I have 2 raised to the power of x minus 1 plus 2 raised to the power of x equals 48. Okay? Now, go back to the laws of what of indices. Now, this can be written as 2 raised to the power of x times 2 raised to the power of minus 1. Okay? Plus what? 2 raised to the power of x equals what? 48. Is that clear? Now, for what I'm having here, this can be written as 2 raised to the power of x over what? 2. Don't forget that. Then, plus what? 2 raised to the power of x equals what? 48. Now, if you look at this now, 2 raised to the power of x, okay? So, at the end of the day, I'm having 2 raised to the power of x 1 over 2, okay, plus 1 is left here, equals what? 48. By communicating. Now, I can still write this 1 as 1 over 1. 1 over 1 is still what? It's still 1. So, let me take the LCM of this, okay? So, I'm having 2 to the power of x, brackets open. The LCM of 2 and 1 is 2, okay? Now, if I divide 2 by 2, I will get 1. 1 times 1 is 1. If I divide 2 by 1, is what is 2, okay? Um, 2 times 1 is what is 2, all right? Equals what? 48. Is that clear? So, I'm having 2 with the power of x, brackets open. 1 plus 2 gives us what? 3. 3 over what? Over 2 equals what? 40. What? 48. Am I communicating? All right, so this can be written as 2 with the power of x times 3 over what? Over 2 equals what? 48. Am I communicating? All right, so from here, I can easily cross multiply. All right, so I can do this. So it's going to give us 2 with the power of x times 3 equals this times this. 48 times what? Times 2. Okay, so dividing both sides by 3, both sides by 3, 3 cancels 3. So 2 with the power of x equals 3 year 1, 3 year is 16. Okay, so I'm having 16 times 2. Is that clear? Now, 16 times 2 gives us what? 32. Am I communicating? So at the end of the day, I'm having 2 raised to the power of x equals 2 raised to the power of 5. Alright? So 2 cancels 2 here. So my answer now becomes x here is equal to 5. So my x is equal to 5.